welcome back guys to another video and in this one i will be talking a bit more about the open source opengl driver for the raspberry pi now in the past i have made videos on the very topic but they have always been some kind of comparison within the opengl and the open source driver including mesa 11.1 versus mesa 11.2 uh, many benchmark uh, like uh, open arena quake and all of that stuff but what i found out that i've never done is to actually go ahead and make a video that compares the open source driver with the binary blob that is already present on the raspberry pi now the reason i am making this video is that i was recently uh, doing a project of my own where i found myself using a programming environment known known as uh, processing now processing is a kind of a GUI or more, more or like a graphics programming language you can do really amazing stuff with very little code so moving on let's so let's go ahead and compare these two uh, kinds of graphics driver that we have and let's try to get something informative out of it because when I try to do it I actually got some amazing results so let's get to it so first of all we will be testing out the 2d performance now the way 2d and 3d graphics are rendered is pretty different so I'll compare 2d versus 2d and 3d versus 3d uh, so first of all on the open source driver i made a very simple program all it did was display an image on a screen on a window of a resolution of 800 by 480 now pretty standard resolution not even close to full hd and um, what i got was i was only getting around 30 fps average now it was fluctuating a lot but it was still 30 fps average so interesting so i thought okay let's switch over to the binary graphics driver and i did that now open uh, now processing actually automatically adjusts to whatever driver you are using so it's really great for this kind of a benchmark on the closed uh, source driver i was amazed and i got dot 60 fps now of course this is due to vsync i would have gotten more but my monitor is 60 hertz so is the program and it's running at 60 hertz so it's completely it's performing really well it's a thumbs up and this is really great uh, not great but this is really not expected as you would expect something like uh, something like mesa to work properly on a external program because that's not custom compiled for raspberry pi but apparently the guys at processing did compile some parts of the uh, arm build of processing specifically to work with the raspberry pi and that makes a difference and it is there it's almost 30 frames more actually it w as i said it w would have been more so a lot of uh, performance improvement there so before making any conclusions let's jump to the 3d part because it gets even more interesting so the first one i used was called ribbon uh, now ribbon is an application you will see on your screen what that is but on the open sourced graphics driver what i was getting was around 24 or 25 frames per second average so that's not a lot it's pretty okay but it's not a lot so it's running on the gpu it needs to be more than uh, 30 at least so i switched back to the binary blob and the story was the same i was getting more fps more performance on the binary blob of course it was not 60 fps but was still around 40 fps which is a huge difference so around uh, around 15 frames more uh, on, on average than what i was getting on the open source driver so at this point look okay, i'm like yeah perfect the pro source driver is perfect it's made and if the processing id works fine everything is fine i can go in and use the closed source driver but then i came across another uh, example and that was called planets which actually involved 
a planet rotating around the sun and in between the earth and things like that so kind of a model solar system if you may and that gave me again around 25 fps on open gl on open source graphics driver and then i was like okay it would be it, it should give me more on the closed source driver but as it turns out it doesn't work on the closed source driver it won't work because there are some parts of the closed source driver that are missing since um these such closed source driver are not really meant for the mainstream linux de- desktop they're more meant for your everyday uh, everyday mobile graphics uh, as this is actually uh, a mobile processor so um the planets uh, test never ran on the closed source binary blob it gave me some odd gl error which i'm not really sure of but it worked on the uh, open source graphics drivers so the story is if you really want to use the open source driver only use it if your program doesn't run on the closed driver because the closed driver has inherently more performance and you would get a better experience out of using that so since i have to do only the 2d kind of a work on my project i will be using the closed source driver but if you have a project that actually requires you to do specific open gl calls and specific um shapes or maybe transitions and stuff like that that only happen in the open source driver only then i would actually recommend you to use that so that was about it a short kind of a story where you know i finally go get a chance to compare the closed source blob with the open source driver In- interesting stuff uh, and thank you so much guys for watching uh, please like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one